So I am very, very, very shocked that this happened. So today has been an absolutely crazy day in crypto. So I wanna to talk to you about what's happened, what I'm shocked about, and I wanna to talk to you about a major, major event, a catalyst that's out there that's gonna happen in two weeks that you need to be aware of that is a potential fallout from today, okay? So as always, I appreciate you giving me some of your time. Thank you, I promise I'm gonna make it worth your time. And if you haven't already done so, hit that like button and that subscribe button below because I bring content and videos to help you navigate crypto and keep you up to date. So here's what I'm shocked about. We had the uh, CPI inflation data report come out today. And when it came out earlier today, the stock market and crypto market went down dramatically. We saw Bitcoin drop below 19,000 a day. It actually touched $18,999, okay? So it immediately dropped and what we were all expecting and what I'm shocked about is that crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other altcoins bounced back from this very, very, very bad inflation data report. Historically, this type of report would have sent us into a free fall. So it tells me a couple of things here, guys. It tells me, number one, that we're all basically somewhat used to this. We were all expecting a inflation data report for about at about 8.8%. It actually came in at 9.1, up 1.3 more percent than we expected. And that is a bad number. That means that inflation is still hot. It's still really bad. A lot of that, that rise was driven by high gas prices, okay? So what I see happening and what I'm shocked about and what actually I think is the silver lining in this story is that we are at the bottom. We're at the bottom of kind of the worst case crypto market scenario that we that we have. I do think that we've got some more downside risk in Bitcoin and Ethereum to go to maybe 14,000 and Ethereum to go to five to 600. I would love to be wrong in this, but I've got some very, very smart people who do a lot of technical analysis and that's kind of what they're saying. Now, they're not saying that that's gonna happen in the next five or 10 minutes. They're saying that that could happen over the next 20 or 30 days. Now, to my next point about this event, this big next thing that's out there about two weeks from now. Okay, so here's what's going on here. Today, we got the inflation data report, right? It was bad. 9.1%, we expected 8.8. .8. What we now have to watch out for is the next two weeks leading up to the Federal Reserve meeting. The Fed meeting is going to happen on July 26th through July 28th. Now, with this bad inflation data, historically, like what happened in June, they do a massive um, um, raise of the base interest rate. So we're probably gonna get at least a 75 basis point raise now when the Fed meets later this month. We may even get 100 basis points, okay? So if 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 we get 100 basis points, I can ex you can expect crypto and the stock market to react and move down pretty negatively. So I am shocked at the fact that crypto shook off today's bad report and has moved on. I expect it to be a little bit worse. I expected some lingering effect where Bitcoin and Ethereum were gonna move down a little bit lower. I'm taking this as good news and I'm also taking it that the fact that people are starting to come back to crypto, they're starting to come back to stocks. There's, and by the way, I keep mentioning crypto and stocks because they're tied together right now, okay? So I'm viewing this as a positive thing. That's what I'm shocked about, all right? So moving forward, we just gotta keep our eye on what happens between now and July 26 and keep our eye on what you know, maybe the Fed uh, may start kind of putting out a little bit of pre of pre news, P R E pre news. Maybe start to give us a hint as what they're going to do. It's most likely going to be seventy five basis points. It's probably what everybody's really expecting per this data. If it's a hundred basis point, we could be looking at a, another big negative catalyst event happening July twenty six through twenty eight. So that's what I got for you right here, right now. Thanks for giving me a few minutes. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button below. Stick around because I have one goal is to help you make more money in crypto and just be a little bit more informed. I'll see you.